For years, we've been hearing horror stories about cosmetic surgery, people desperately traveling outside of the country. The four Americans have been identified as Shaheed Woodward, Latavia Tay McGee, Zindo Brown, and Eric Williams. McGee's mother, who previously said her daughter went to Mexico for a cosmetic medical procedure. A Dallas real estate agent is on life support with brain damage this morning after traveling to Mexico for plastic surgery. Laura Avila's family says she went to a clinic in Ciudad Juarez last month for several procedures, including a nose job and breast implant replacement. When the South Bay resident saved enough money for a mommy makeover, she flew to Matamoros, Mexico, just south of Brownsville, Texas, for the surgery. This photo with Dr. Orlando Villanueva was taken on the day of the surgery, February 10th. Tanquesia would not survive the operation. Even inside the country, I'm telling you, the stories out of Miami are nightmarish. But this 40-year-old woman who traveled to South Florida from Louisiana to have a cosmetic procedure, as many people do from out of town and out of state, because there are these less expensive clinics all over Miami-Dade and Broward County. She traveled here and went into cardiac and respiratory arrest. Fire rescue was unable to revive her, nor were doctors at Kendall Regional Medical Center where she was taken. When people think of scary surgery stories, dental procedures never really come to mind. Although fatalities from dental surgeries are not as common, they still happen for one, but more often than that, dental procedures can lead to complications and the emergency room, not to mention permanent damage that can't be fixed. The high cost of dental surgery may encourage Americans to look into other options. You have many of them traveling out of the country for dental work, no different than the women going to the DR, Colombia, or Mexico for the BBLs. I've even seen people so desperate for dental work that they put their lives in jeopardy going to people's houses for veneers and braces. For all my entire life, I've used the dentist, you know, I've gone to the dentist and stuff like that. Like, are you, you know, because are, are, you, are you licensed? Yes, I am. You if licensed? you think this all seems bizarre, you're right. Are, are you performing dental procedures in these homes? No. Are you doing braces? No. What were you talking to him about? What do you mean? That was a plan. That was, he wasn't here for braces? He was that guy not here to get braces? No, he was not here to get braces. Okay. Wrong. Remember, he's our undercover producer. Listen, it's really not me. No. Who is it? and go get the person it is. When you have a procedure like that, you have to go to an office, you have to deal with a dentist. Right. This is, you've got people just showing up at your porch, giving you money to get braces on their teeth. This is that crazy. That person didn't even give me no money. This is crazy. What, who, what was that person here for? That person didn't just give me no money for what? no braces. Was he here for braces? No, he wasn't. He wasn't? No, he wasn't. You wanna know how I know you're lying? Tell me. Because that person is an undercover producer for us. That was Detroit. Absolutely crazy, by the way. I can't believe people really went to that lady's house talking about getting their teeth fixed. It's not only dangerous, nasty, and unsanitary, but it's outright silly and less than smart. Then in another case, we have people who found ads on social media for cheap braces and veneers. The price is too good to be true, and they ended up booking an appointment to find out their dental work was going to be performed in a back room of a beauty salon. Wait a damn minute, <laughs> wait a damn. I can see you getting duped online, kind of. Maybe you saw some advertisement and booked services. You should have been alerted by the price, but even if you ignore the red flags, when you get a text message with an address, and when you get there, it's a beauty salon where you're expected to get a dental procedure, you should have done an about face right there in the parking lot. Why even get out the car? How in the world do you walk into the beauty salon and go through the whole process? I'm just not understanding that. Well, meet Monica Davis, a woman from Illinois that moved to Vegas, but she was operating a dental company advertising as the veneer experts. On her website listing that she performed dental procedures out of both Las Vegas and Chicago, but come to find out she had no license in either state. And yes, that's against the law for the short bus shawties who like to say, I just don't understand what they did. It's illegal. It's a felony. So here's how she got caught up in Vegas. A woman in Nevada saw one of Monica's ads on Facebook and scheduled an appointment. The woman says she arrived at the location provided to her in a text message, finding the veneer business in a room in a beauty parlor. 
The woman identified Monica Davis as the person who shaved her teeth and applied a composite to them. Then the patient stated during the process, red flags started to come up. I'm sorry, red flags popped up way before this woman even touched her mouth. I really wish people would go back to using more common sense, at least to protect themselves. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Court documents revealed the patient did not observe a dental tray or an autoclave, a device used to clean and sterilize the equipment. The procedure left the woman with a larger tooth and fused several surrounding teeth. The woman saw her teeth were fused together, so she looked at Monica and was like, how was she supposed to floss her teeth? Because there was no space between them. And you won't believe what Monica, the so-called dentist, said to this lady. She looked at the woman and said, they don't fix that. When the patient later contacted the veneer experts again, she called up there, somebody picked up the phone, told her that she owed $50 and needed to call a different number to schedule another appointment. The person on the phone also told the patient to bring cash. Two weeks later after the woman's appointment, the veneers broke off. That's when she went to a reputable clinic where she was told it was not real dental grade material that the previous person used on her teeth. Officials with the Nevada Department of Public Safety arrested Monica Davis on January 30th, 2024. That's when she was charged with a felony running an illegal dentist practice. Monica posted Bond, then she continued to advertise her services on social media and recruited new victims. All of this while she had an active case in Nevada, she continued to offer these services in Chicago, and that's why now she's being investigated by Illinois too. When you go to the dentist, you assume the person doing the work in your mouth mm. is actually a dentist. But recently, we've heard from multiple people with the same shocking story. Their allegations sparked the state and a suburban police department to launch investigations. CBS 2's Lauren Victory has this exclusive you need to see before you open up. The last time Monica Bailey sat in a dentist's chair, she was hopeful. Now she's nervous, as if her teeth were chattering. It's hard. It is. Um... I'm just hoping that we can have a positive outcome. It was February when she visited this building in Schaumburg. Up on the eighth floor, Bailey and her 15-year-old daughter had appointments to get braces at a business called the Veneer Experts. In Vegas, she was working out of a beauty parlor. In Chicago, she stepped it up and got a legit office. So I can see how these people walking into there, it seemed normal for them. Cleaned my teeth and started, you know, putting the glue on and putting the brackets on for the braces and I thought what she was doing was how it's supposed to be done. We offer a wide range of services. Bailey says the woman in this video worked on their teeth. Her name is Monica Davis. State records show Davis registered the veneer experts as an Illinois business in July 2023. We're changing lives one smile at a time. She slows day. How does it feel? A change is what tattoo artist Ralph Jones was after. You'd be hard pressed to find a photo of him with a toothy smile. They just started decaying and falling out and over the course of the years, like it just started like making their parents look pretty bad. A $2,000 price tag and huge customer smiles on the Veneer Experts Instagram page sold him. Jones visited Davis and her team for shiny teeth coverings called veneers. He says he was told these new smiles last eight to 10 years. That didn't happen for him. I woke up to a chip too. It was a piece of it, Chip. Bailey says her problem started when she tried to make a follow-up appointment. One of the numbers was disconnected. The other one, nobody would answer. Dr. Davis was nowhere to be found, literally. CBS2 could not locate her name on the state website where dentists should be registered. In Illinois, dentists need to have a license. A license ensures that the person has had a high level of quality of education and training. And it guarantees a dentist is well-versed in sanitation and patient safety. Lindsay Wagahoff from the Illinois State Dental Society explains the consequences for anyone who touches teeth without a license. Sometimes there's cease and desist letters that are sent, um, and then obviously then there's a process then after that too in the, in the court system. In arrest, Davis knows all about that. Apparently, the veneer experts had also been operating at this Las Vegas strip mall, and Davis got picked up for illegally practicing dentistry without a Nevada dental license. You see that mugshot, and what goes through your mind? I just, I couldn't believe it. Then she looked at a calendar. Court documents show Davis was released from police custody in Nevada on January 31st. It was only nine days later when Bailey says she and her daughter got braces from the unlicensed dentist. It's crazy to me that she can do this in Las Vegas 
and post bail and you come here and do the same thing, it's like you have no fear. Speaking I, of I fear. Don't, I don't know what she put inside of my mouth. Jones took this photo of his chipped veneer. I'm just wondering your assessment. CBS2 was allowed to share it with a yeah, properly so credentialed saying, dentist, Lauren Zalay. I mean, the gum tissue is, is what I'm very concerned about because if you can't brush under those teeth, you're not gonna have teeth there much longer. Bite together. Bailey also so got bad news from Dr. Zalay. They look like real braces, and but they, they don't connect to anything in the back and so there's no way to move the teeth. Meaning the braces aren't fixing anything. Did she take any x-rays or anything? Uh -uh. No x-rays, because that's obviously the first thing. You know, you would want to make sure that, you know, the teeth are healthy before you're right. going to start moving them. So you don't have any comment on the people that you did procedures on here in Illinois? Hanging up was Davis's response to us. Our in-person research led to the discovery that the veneer experts were asked to leave their office in Schaumburg. A receptionist for the building said they'd gotten several calls from upset customers. We actually don't even know how many people that she actually did this to. It's just a big letdown. It's wrong. A line crossed that leaves a small business owner and others with no choice but to dip into their savings and start over. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Uh, well, we reached Davis twice and both times. She didn't have anything to say about her business or the allegations. Her next Las Vegas court date is in May. A police investigation here in Illinois is still active and we'll update you as soon as action is taken. What's really sad is that no one knows how many people she touched. She was racking up patients in Nevada and Illinois with no license. This woman should really be held accountable for this, all on TikTok and Facebook, Instagram, posing like a real dentist. And then she's out here playing around like she's practicing with dolls. These are real people. She would still be scamming in that same location in Illinois if she didn't get kicked out. This woman didn't get spooked and stopped. She continued to do it. So that tells me everything. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Special thank you to Elaine. I appreciate you, Elaine, for all of your support, as well as our guys Scott M, Dark Power, Early Lately, and William A. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.